today I am going to be doing a collective haul of a bunch of different things I recently got. And um, yeah, before I get into the actual haul, I wanted to apologize real quickly for not being on my channel recently or my second channel. I know I've been kind of slacking on that as well. But um, I'm back finally and ready to make videos and do all the stuff I'm supposed to do, so yeah! I'm actually going to upload this video on the same day that I am filming this because I am leaving tomorrow at 4.30 in the morning, bright and early, to go to New York City, which I'm really, really excited about because I'm going to film a lot of stuff there. I was going to do a meetup, but I decided that it really wasn't enough time for me to like get it all set up and all that different stuff because I was going to, but I've only had two weeks to figure everything out. Actually, no, less than that. I've had a week to figure everything out and that just wouldn't be enough time for me to like delegate everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no meetup, but if you see me around New York, come say hi. Um, if you live around there, I'll be tweeting constantly. So follow my Twitter, I'll put a link in the description box, and maybe you'll see me somewhere in New York if I tweet about it and you come and say hi to me. <laughs> really quickly before I get into anything else, um, I wanted to say hi to... I want to say her name is Hannah. That could be completely wrong. She was a girl that approached me today, actually, while I was at a French competition, and said hi to me and was like, you're 8 26, aren't you? And I was like, well, yes, I am. And I'm pretty sure I was really awkward and kind of mean, because at first I thought she was just giving me a really mean look. So I'm sorry if that's not your name, Hannah. That's going to be your surname right now. Um, but I'm really sorry if I was mean to you at the French festival. I meant to be nice, but I didn't really know how to react. So, hello, and I'm sorry if you think I'm a horrible person now. We took a picture together, and I told her to put it on Twitter so I could make it my profile picture, but I don't know if she has or not yet, but um, if she does, you'll know who she is, because she'll be my Twitter profile picture. I went to two different stores to get these items. The first one is, of course, going to be the thrift store, since I live in the thrift store now. Um, but I'm going to kind of show you guys stuff that I got from there. And then I'm also going to show you guys stuff that I got while I was in this other store. And I'm not sure if it's local or not, so I'm not going to say the name. So I'm just going to go through each thing and yeah, haul time. First, since we've been doing a lot of thrifting stuff lately, I'll go through the normal stuff that I got first and then go through the thrifting stuff since I'm sure you guys are probably sick of seeing all that stuff. First thing, random thing that I'll show is my phone case. I just got this from casemates.com. I was not sponsored at all to say this. I actually did pay for it and it was actually kind of expensive for what I got it. I think $30 is pretty expensive for a phone case that doesn't even cover the front of my phone. The reason why I got it was because of the adorable case right here. Is this not the cutest pattern? I don't know if you're seeing this name down here, but that is the designer's name, and then it just says Casemates at the bottom. Um, but yeah, it just looks like that. It fits really well on my phone, and I just really liked it. And even though it's not roses, it's actually posies, I still am kind of like into the pattern and stuff, so... Yeah, cool, right? The phone case is kind of the first thing that I got that wasn't really a thrifting thing. Um, the second thing I got was a pair of shoes. You guys have not seen me haul a pair of shoes in a while, and it's because I don't buy pairs of shoes very often. But if I do, I either really, really love them or they're a really good price, and people are texting me. I am so popular. Come here. Yay. So the first pair of shoes, not the first pair of shoes, but the only pair of shoes, by Nicole. And once again, I got them at a local place, so... I can't really say the name of it, but um, I got it for $25 on sale from $75. Heck yeah. They're just a pair of cute little flats like these. Um, they like scrunch up, which normally kind of bugs me, but it's okay because these flats actually have a little heel in them, which is what makes me so happy because I honestly don't wear shoes that don't have heels anymore unless they're like really cute ballet flats. I don't know why, I have like this self-confidence issue that I have to be wearing a heel at all times or else I look like a freaking shorty, which is not a bad thing. But I don't know, it just like elongates my legs and makes me feel better about myself, so that's totally okay if that's my type of physical image therapy. So these are really, really cute. They actually fit really well on me. They're an eight and I love them. They're great. So next, I have two different shirts to show you guys and um, both of these were from the local boutique that I cannot mention. Um, I'll figure out if it's not local or not and if it's not, then I could just tell you the name of it, but if so, I'm gonna have to keep that to myself. I got two of the same shirts in different colors, which I know is like totally against my policy, but I got it anyway. Um, but the first one is like this really, really pretty, like gauzy, pretty shirt that has a bow in the front. I feel like Graveyard Girl would really like this shirt. I don't know why, but um, yeah, it looks like that. And I got this in white, clearly. I got it in pink as well. So it's just the same shirt, and I actually wore this, so bear with the fact that it's not perfect. Um, but this is what it looks like untied. It just looks like long, plain. It actually looks kind of cool untied if you tie it down lower and then kind of make it look like it's kind of like a necklace kind of thing. I don't know. I just said kind of like five times. Then I got one bottom while I was at this store, and the reason why I got it is because I have been, like, 
crazy obsessed with high-low skirts and where I live apparently no one knows how to wear them because there are no stores that freaking sell high-low skirts except for this one store that I found and I flipped out when I found it and it was on sale because I was like okay well I'm desperate for a high-low skirt so I'm just gonna go online and find one and buy it regardless of the price. I kept looking at all the prices and I was like no I cannot pay $150 for a high-low skirt from Urban Outfitters. No thank you. It may or may not fit me or look good on me. So that's just not gonna happen. So I just kind of gave up my search until I found this little beauty for $22, originally $40. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's a high-low skirt that has like a tomato red color and it cinches at the waist. It also came with a little patent leather belt but I took that off for a little while but I don't know. I just really like this high-low skirt because it's not overwhelming. It's not like necessarily a maxi skirt high-low skirt, um, although it does drag the floor. Um, but it's just, it's nice. And, I don't know, I just really like it. And here's the belt that it came with. Just little gold belts, black pattern. Yay. Also, I got a pair of skinny gray pants, but they seem to have gone through the wash and I do not know where they are. Um, so I can't really show you those, but they're not really interesting. They're just skinny gray pants. I'm gonna go through the stuff that I got from the thrift store, which was fun stuff. Um, first I got this awesome pirate, I'm gonna call it my pirate shirt. My pirate shirt, which it looks like this, it's a men's large, which I know what you're thinking, Arden, why are you buying men's larges? You are a woman's small, what are you thinking? Well, what I was thinking, dear children, was that this is a Christian Dior men's large? So it's worth buying in a large size if it is Christian Dior. It is a Christian Dior vintage t-shirt and it is freaking awesome. Pirate t-shirt. So then I also got something else Christian Dior and it is this oversized, once again, men's medium sweater. It is red and it's just like acrylic, 100% acrylic. Um, but once again, it is, it is Christian Dior. Yeah, so I'm really cool for being able to find this stuff at Savers. Once again, I'm telling you, you can find so much good stuff at thrift stores, including designer stuff, for really, really cheap, because I got this for $12. I know, amazing. I like, kind of went on a weird rampage where I was finding collars that would look cute cut off, because I've, I've always had this vision of me making my own collars so I could wear them under sweaters and stuff without getting like overly heated or looking really fat and bulky with like the extra layer. So... Um, I went through and found really, really cute um, polos that had really adorable, like, collars that would look cute. But for instance, like this one, a really cute kind of, I don't know what you call this. It's like got the rounded edges on the collar rather than a sharp edge, which I think looks so good as like an accent necklace kind of piece. Um, but then I tried on the shirt without the shoulder pads in it. I ripped the shoulder pads out. And I actually kind of like it alone, so I might not rip the collar off because I'm kind of attached to it now. So yeah. The last thing I got on my thrifting and collective haul was these awesome vintage fossil sunglasses, yes. Um, I got these while I was at the thrift store once again, and they are, like I said, vintage fossil. They say it right here. They're super duper old, super duper cute, and uh, yeah. That is it for my collective haul. I hope you guys like this video. I should have the styling videos out to you later. I'm gonna try to film some stuff in New York, which I promise will hopefully maybe happen. I'm really unreliable when it comes to filming in foreign places. I don't know why, but I get really, really uncomfortable filming in like public places. So I don't know how that's gonna go, but we will try. We will try really hard to do that. And by we, I mean me. I figure there's enough freaks and wackadoos in New York that I can get away with it and, you know, not have a whole bunch of chutzpah going around me. So if you see me in New York, once again, I will be tweeting constantly about where I am. So please follow my Twitter so you'll be able to keep updated and come hang out with me when I go to Le Bon Soup, which is like my favorite restaurant in New York or somewhere else, I don't know. Um, come see me in Central Park because I will be walking around in Central Park. I have to actually get up at 4.30 tomorrow morning. So I will see you guys later and don't forget there will be a tea vlog coming out tonight as well. So I will see you guys later on that note. Bye.